Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm just going to be playing some Slope. It's just an online flash game. Or not a flash game, just an online game. Uh, a Unity game. And I'm just going to talk about what I'm up to. I'm going to upload this on my second channel, Daily Pterodactyl. And on my MySpace too, my MySpace account. Like, like I know you're going to think there's no use, there's no reason to post on MySpace, but... I'm trying to revive that, so yeah. So, I'm just going to talk about my plans for the future, or what my plans for this channel in general. My uh, daily pterodactyl. Um, I'm deciding that I'm going to post every day on this channel, daily pterodactyl. And, you know, when I do gaming stuff like this, I'll upload on my MySpace too. But I'll just do the... But I need, uh, I, I'm deciding to upload daily on this channel because I need a platform where I upload daily because there's more chances of me uh, getting discovered. I know how the search algorithm works now because to get discovered on YouTube, uh, I need to make something that would, I need to make a video that sounds like something would type in the search, someone would type in the search bar. Let me rephrase that. Sorry about that. Uh, in order to, for me to get more views, I need to make videos that are something that someone would type in the search bar or something that's trending. So, for example, if I want to get discovered by a lot of people, I can make videos on just one topic. For example, if, if I'm doing like Mr. Beast videos and then I use a bunch of tags... I'll end up in search results and people will discover me because I'm making videos about Mr. Beast. Or let's say for example how to tie a shoe. I'll get discovered because people are looking for how to tie a shoe. My main problem with my James D.P. Pterodactyl channel is I'm making videos about stuff that no one is interested in. I'm just randomly making videos on random stuff and not optimizing it enough for people to discover it. Which is why, you know, I'm not doing really good. Um, recently, I'm, I, I've uh, looked at my popular videos and see <clears throat> and looked at what did good and what did bad. I noticed that if I use a bunch of keywords in paragraph form and uh, use them in the title and tags, usually they get some search traffic. And if I put nothing in the description, usually it will just be only from notifications and from external services. So I'm going to try to game the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see my stuff. But it's got to be in a way that I won't get banned, man. So yeah, that's my plans for this channel. This channel, I'm just making videos about what I want, not necessarily making it for views. If this channel grows big, then yeah, I, I would like that, but that's I, I'm just making this one because this is just everyday content saying what's on my mind. So earlier today, I had some online classes. You know, I did my usual thing, just sat there, didn't really pay attention. Usually I still get A's because they post all of the work online as makeup work. So yeah. Or if you didn't do the work in class, you could turn it in like after class or the due date is set to two days after the class. So usually I don't turn in late stuff, but I have some late stuff because, you know, I <laughs> kind of procrastinate, especially on my physics. But first off, I went to my online school. After that, checked my Instagram, my song of the week Instagram. Uh, I'm still running that as a business. This week, there was no song of the week because all of the stuff sent to me was just not good. Usually, there's like five to ten songs that were sent, but this week, it was just three bad songs or it would just not be appropriate for more listeners. I want to make song of the week into something bigger, so I'm going to get a job soon so I can pay for advertising costs because advertising costs are very important. So, you know, after I checked out my Instagram, went, I was like, hey, I'm going to go on the treadmill because I noticed when I go on the treadmill, 
and then walk for three miles, which I walked for three miles. Usually when I walk three miles a day, I get more stuff done. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I take an hour out of the day to walk three miles. It makes my brain focus more, which is kind of weird. But I don't even know why it does that or whatever it's like that, but it gives me more clarity in the head. It makes my brain feel less fogged, and I can... uh process stuff in my head faster ooh, 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 ooh. as you if you guys don't know I'm gaming while I'm talking oh my gosh that so yeah what time is it now 512 right well, that's all I have to talk about well that's not all I have to talk about um after I took a shower Cooked up some ramen noodles, beef flavored, you know. It's pretty good. Ate two packs. Had a Mountain Dew for my energy because it's going to be a late night today. Usually I stay up late because um, it just takes a long time for me to do schoolwork because I'm not motivated. Especially in physics and trigonometry. That Those are the two classes that I hate. Trigonometry, I don't hate the teacher. He's a really good teacher. I like I realize that my trigonometry teacher actually cares about his students and which is why a lot of students like him. And I like him too. He's a nice guy. But trigonometry, I just don't see how I can use it in my music. <laughs> is it possible to use trigonometry uh in my music to make it interesting? Uh, probably you never know I, I just don't see a practical use for it and physics too I don't see the point in determining the distance of something by the friction uh, time and its weight it, it's just I'm I'm just gonna do my own thing get a job and uh, that's the thing too I don't really want to go to college that's uh, but because I don't know what I'm going to do, you know. So I think it's a good thing to just wait it out and uh, get a job. And then when I figure out, I could possibly get an education. Or if my business is, is generating a good amount of revenue, I can just live off that. Or if I'm on my YouTube channel, you know, I can make money through that too. Or if I'm doing digital marketing for other people, I can do that too for a living there's many other options other than school which is kind of why i don't like this uh school teachers mentality you have to go to a college you have to get a higher education because like in today's world with this online uh platform and in quarantine you can make a living fully off uh, on you can make a living fully online if you know what I'm if you know what you're doing yeah which is my plan cuz uh what I want to do online is market my music I want to make my own music not my James D pterodactyl music that's no but, but it's my actual music I'm going to market that through ads and you know, try to grow a fan base. I'm just going to copy what a lot of people marketing their music do. Because I actually look at a bunch of them. But I bought a few courses so that I would learn how some people do it successfully. There's a course by this man called Andrew Southworth. His uh, Spotify Facebook ad promotion. I got. Uh, I was the last person to get it on discount. There's one spot la less. There was one spot left to get his course on discount for nine for ninety seven dollars, and then I got it. Um, let me tell you, it's worth it. I understand the ad platform better, and I can now plan out stuff better. Also, there's this thing called Music Promotion Machine, which I bought a year ago. It teaches email marketing for your music. And I, I just researched a bunch of email marketing stuff. I um, went to this website called learn.com by this guy called Onyx Singal. Like, I'm not buying any of his stuff because 
you know, I can just find a bunch of the stuff for free online, but that's his hustle. So if people buy from him, that's good for him. But um, he's kind of sketchy in the way he markets his stuff on Xingao, but his website, learn.com, you could learn a bunch of business stuff for free using the free courses. I would not recommend you buy any of the paid courses because I'm pretty sure most of them are just overpriced. But a lot of the free stuff, I learned a lot about uh, lead magnets, email marketing, funnels, and a bunch of that stuff. So earlier in the year, I got into uh, marketing on Instagram, affiliate marketing. I made like 20 bucks off of that stuff. And then I just stopped instantly because school is just stressful, you know. And last month and the month before, I started a topic account called Wealth.Day. And I'm like, this is not going anywhere. The market that I'm going in is way too saturated. So I decided to just make Song of the Week my uh, topic Instagram account. So with that, Song of the Week, it's mainly an Instagram business. It's growing really really slowly i the reason why is because i i don't have enough money to invest in a uh, hashtag research tools yet which i have to do because hashtags are like the main way you get seen but with song of the week i want to grow the instagram and then actually run ads. I did a $1 ad for my YouTube and got like 300 well $1 a day. So it was like a $7 ad for my YouTube song of the week. And the newest video that's out right now, I think it's Told You So by Vishwa Ganesh. Um, that got like 300 views through YouTube advertising. And the thing is, the people, uh, the way I targeted the ads is not the ads you put right before the videos because those are really annoying. I just put search ads. I might put recommended video ads too because the more impressions the better but not interrupting the video because interrupting a video is not good because I've never bought something through a interrupting ad, ad that interrupted the video. Um, so yeah, my music song of the week, my YouTube channel will be a monetization thing for me and I'm going to try to make a record label and be a producer of a bunch of the tracks because my friend uh, Tyler, he he's, has lyrics, but he doesn't have the music and I want to be his producer, which is which is uh, pretty cool if you ask me. Because I just want to, you know, lead. And eventually, when when my music be gets more traction, I'll start a band with my uh, music. Then after that, tour. So more people can hear my music and try to get radio play. Radio play is still a really good way to market your music, man. Um... But I have a lot of ideas for my YouTube channel. Uh, I write them down on a notepad document on my phone. I like. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have over two months of content written down in ideas on my phone. Some of the stuff, like my videos, have to up the quality. I need a better computer because you can literally hear the background noise of the computer as I speak which I hate because this computer is loud so first of all first of all new computer second of all better audio setup I think this mic might actually be okay but I want to connect it to a uh, I want to get a SM7B mic and a preamp a cloud field a cloud lift a preamp and a uh, oh, my brain is foggy right now. It I can't think. Uh, oh, and an audio box. Yeah, audio interface to connect it to. Cause I want professional audio gear and a and a 4K camera, so that it can be clear. You know those 4K cameras which make the backgrounds zoomed out. Those are really really cool. And I just went down there and I'm out. Oh. 
Why is it going down? Why why am I not disappearing? Oh, why am I going through these? Oh, I think I broke the game. Well, with that said, that was just my mindless rambling. I'm just going to do this every day on my channel. Uh, well, I might not do this every day, this specific thing every day, but I'm going to post daily stuff on this channel and my shorts channel too. Shorts are going to be a really good way to grow. But anyways, I think you've heard enough of me talking. See you later.